If your Calaisian persists after two weeks, then it's worth getting someone to have a look at it and see whether medical or incision surgery is required for it. I see many patients with Calaisia here at Clinica London and majority of them, if they've had it after two weeks and they've got a proper formed lump, will have a small procedure, the incision and curatage of the Calaisian done here under local anaesthetic as an outpatient. After your Calaisia surgery, you have to look after your eyelids and clean them regularly and make sure that you don't get more Calaisia. We will give you advice on that so that you feel more confident to look after your eyelids and then over the first week you'll be putting in chlorophenical ointment or similar and that will help your Calaisian to heal on the inside of the lid and gradually you'll be a lot better until you can't see any sign of the Calaisian. Very often, if you have a Calaisian, I suggest to you that you should be seen on a Friday or a Thursday. The reason being is you'll have your eye patch on for an hour, no, a bit longer than an hour, 24 hours afterwards, if you've got two good seeing eyes. I check the other eye to make sure you can see, because the last thing I want to do is send you out into the street if you've only got one good eye with an eye patch on. If that situation occurs and we keep you here a bit longer in the clinic, make sure you're okay and then we let you have without an eye patch. But usually you'll go home with your eye patch and then you'll want to have your puffy eyelid over the weekend so that by the time you're ready to go back to work on Monday morning, your Calaisian has gone and you're ready to work with barely a red eyelid at all. Immediately after your surgery, the lump will be gone. You'll have an eye patch for the first 24 hours and then when you take that off, there'll be a little bit of puffiness and swelling and you'll wonder, oh my goodness, have I still got the Calaisian? But no, you ha won't have it, it will have gone and there'll just be the normal reaction to having had the procedure, which is post-operative puffiness and swelling, maybe a tiny bruise.